Howdy player! I'm Dayla, and I'm on the phones here at the Warm Kitten Hint Chat. Should you get stuck too long on a puzzle, you can find me in the game's pause menu. Oh, and before I go, on account of tutorials being like really boring, I just snuck a help note into Justin's inventory instead. Enjoy! Dash, go on, QP43. And then I found him, but with his head. Yes? His head was... It was blown straight off, Doc. Crapotulous. We're looking at a stone-cold killer here, QP43. Yes, stone-cold, Doc. And of course, I'm working on my revenge. Oh, of course. And are you making any progress? Oh, yes, I'm closing in on him, Doc. You can be certain of that. Gov gov. <laughs> Not again, Clute. I've told you a thousand times, this is an all-vegan daycare. You're not allowed to cook rabbits. Go, go, go. Don't try to speak dinosaur, Clute. UK folk just don't have the capacity for it. <sighs> and no sulking either. This is a happy all vegan daycare. Hi, Julia. I think we need to talk. Let me stop you right there. Justin, I have the best news ever. I just took in this beautiful stray cat. Meet Oligarch. Isn't he just the cutest? Oh. Oh? Oh what? Oh. As in... Oh. You didn't know I was allergic? Allergic? Really? Yeah. So... If we're serious about this whole moving in together business... This whole moving in together business? So, Justin, I heard about you and Julia. I guess she's now out and about, so to speak, eh? Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. I see. Maybe I'll run it by her instead. Wait a minute. Is that a date in sight? Yeah. I thought maybe I should get a profile up on datamate.com. Stupid idea, though. It just makes me miss her more. All the profiles just remind me that no one compares to her. That's some heartbreaking stuff right there, Justin. for a snack, eh? Yeah. I haven't eaten for days. It's time I snapped out of this thing and got back to living my life again. Starting with sniffing around for some leftovers. boy, Justin. I think I might be bitter enough as it is. You know, with all these buttery smooth animations around, I don't think I really need it. I really wouldn't touch it if I were you. Looks like... 
I think the bottom is made out of tin foil. It's white. Looks like... I think the bottom is made out of tin foil. It's way too cold to eat. I'm afraid that thing hasn't worked for a long time. No metal in micro. Pfft, what's the worst thing that could happen? Looks like a frozen onion pie. I think the bottom is made out of tin foil. It's way too cold. Howdy, player. How can I help? Let me see if I've got something to help you out. What topic would you like a hint about? Okay, hang on a moment while I snoop around a bit. Okay, now to avoid feeling like we're cheating, I'm going to type my hints rather than saying them out loud. That way, I technically haven't told you any secrets. Okay, here's the hint. By the way, sometimes it helps to ask the same question again. You're welcome. I sure don't expect this tinfoil bottom to cause any problem in the microwave or anything. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all here at the office, Justin. What the? Ay caramba! I guess mouldy onions from the 90s combined with tin and microwaves makes a one heck of a cocktail. I really must insist you do something about this mess of yours, Justin. Hmm. Got something specific in mind? Well, I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Maybe just wipe it off with a towel or something. Wipe it off with a towel? I'm pretty sure it's not a soup stain, Reefs. I don't really need an apron to heat up some food. I ain't no expert, but I'd say it's some kind of portal thingy. Brilliant. Okay, let's do this. I have decided to go and have a quick look around for that onion pie. If, for some reason, I don't make it back, tell Julia I went off on this great adventure. No need to mention the onion pie, though. Sure, I'll take care of Julia. Should anything go wrong, Scout's honor. Maybe it's... when am I? I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it's watching me. Yep, very mysterious. Not sure how to open it. I bet it's done from some other place. Gumnastics, the strongest gum in the galaxy. You need lungs of steel to blow any bubbles with it. But when they pop, they pop loud. No re 
Justin. It has all my personal details on there. Justin Wet. It has. Not to be squeamish or anything, but there's way too many bugs around for me to go sticking my hand in there. Gum! You need lungs of steel to blow any bubbles with it. Wait! Was that a caveman? Holy crap! I'm stuck in this place! <gasps> and now to bag myself another time traveler. I'll be real slick about it too. Hey, time traveler. Or should I say, Justin? Uh, yeah? I've been expecting you. Really? Mm-hmm. It took me many days of hard work to get things ready for your arrival. Well, sorry to cause you so much trouble. Oh, you will be sorry. Where I come from, we don't take kindly to unauthorized time travelers. No, sure. Uh, where did you say you come from? I come from the future. Well, I guess technically so do you at the moment, having just traveled back in time and all. But I'm from the real future. A future that would seem futuristic even to you. I didn't really mean to travel back in time, you know. Hey, save it for the interrogation session. Interrogation session? Oh, don't jinx it. I got a real dramatic segue right at the end of this conversation. Oh, I see. I can't wait. What did you say your name was? I didn't. We agents are sly like that. Agents? Indeed. A special agent of the Pythonic Empire. The Pythonic Empire? That has a rather nasty ring to it. Well, we are hardly known for our kindness. We are known. Yes? For our extraordinary ruthlessness. Ay caramba! Ay caramba is right. Well, it was nice to meet you and all, but... Nice? Meeting a Pythonic agent? I'll tell you what you're about to meet next. What? Your untimely demise. So I know that's probably not meant for me, but I've got to say, that coffee smells great. Silence, prisoner. This is no coffee shop, and I sure ain't no barista bot. Though I'm often told I make an excellent brew. Okay, here's how it's gonna go down, time traveler. First, I'll power up the Interatron 300. Then we'll have our little session. And then... My... Untimely demise? Bingo! I can't reach it from here. Psst. E excuse me, Mr. Caveman. Sir? Maybe the cavemen haven't learned to communicate using language yet. Silence! There will be no interaction between you and your accomplice. Accomplice? I've never seen that guy before. Really? Because according to the chronologue, a caveman was supposed to travel to your time. I caught that big guy just before you showed up, thinking he was the one. Hmm, I guess the real caveman must have escaped through the portal. I'm gonna have to send another agent to track him down. Gee, I wonder what that guy is doing in my office right now. Gova, go, Oga, oh, Gov, Gov, Oga, oh. Oh, 
So you don't speak the lingo, huh? No worries, big fella. Your predecessor never said much of interest anyway. Welcome to the crew, my fuzzy-looking friend. Kabo, go! Kabo, go! Not bad. If you're looking for a conversation, maybe learn how to actually talk first, old boy. I think I've got this English thing now. Now that I can finally express myself, there's no way that this caveman is ever going back to those weird dinosaurs back in my own time. Hey, Justin. Cavemen? Coexisting with dinosaurs? What are you on about? Whoa. You really let yourself go there, Justin. I mean, I know you've been missing Julia a lot, but like... Julia? Still can't stop thinking about her, huh? Well... I might actually have some good news for you. So here's the thing. I've been thinking a lot about the concept of time lately. It's like, there's really no reason you should feel sad about Julia. Not if you consider the grand scheme of things. Go on. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not important who's feeling what or who's seeing whom at any particular time. Oh? Mm-hmm. You see... Even if you guys had stayed together for the rest of your lives, your lives would only have added up to this teeny-weeny bit of time in the grand scheme of things anyway. So, any couple of any species breaking up or staying together turns out to be, well, a statistical non-issue, really. In the grand scheme of things? Right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. It reads, Julie, Julie, don't be so cruelly. Come back to Justin, the one to put your trust in. Pretty powerful stuff. Hmm. Black, empty. Cyan, empty. Magenta, empty. Yellow, empty. It's a roll of sticky tape. I used to cover my privates with the... Things look fuzzy th
It says, put up to do board. One says, ask a one says, ask about what kind of stuff Julia is into, real smooth like, signed reefs. There's no color gizmo. It reads, this thing is infected with some serious viruses. Don't touch. You're standing in a hall. You hear a kind of scary noise to the west. There are footsteps approaching from the north. You bump into a troll and he bumps into you. That is to say you bump into each other. You and the troll, that is. As you hit the troll, a great mirror cracks in front of you. It seems you were the troll all along. And those footprints were nothing but your overactive troll imagination. Here's ten points, by the way. There's a cracked mirror on the floor. Oh no, troll blood everywhere. Your quest is over. You're standing in a hall. You there are footsteps approaching. You bump into a troll and he bumps into you. That is to say, you and the troll. You're standing in a hall. You hear a kind of scary noise to the west. There are footsteps approaching from the north. There's a chicken in here. You, halt chicken. Chicken, are you the slayer of this here egg layer? You, alas, I lack the knowledge of self. Chicken, then peck you to death is what I shall do. Your quest is over. Well, hi there, my scruffy-looking friend. Welcome to Convo Lift 200, from the company that brings you both elevation and uplifting conversation. Which floor would you like to go to? Take me to the top. There's no holding this caveman back. If you could please state your command in a less melodramatic way. Bottom floor, please. Bottom floor it is. But first, let's just make sure you truly are an employee here at Mediocre IT. Using an amazing one gazillion megapixel face scan. Facial scan failed. All my megapixels tell me that you do not work here. Hi friend, I'm Clute. Ah, so you finally grasped verbal communication, huh? That's just swell, Clute. I'm glad that apron doesn't say, kiss the chef. Are you ever done stirring that coffee? Well, I like it just right, you know? Real smooth like. I like those cufflinks. As do the ladies, Clute. As do the ladies. It's actually a picture of Animal from The Muppet Show. It sends the subliminal signal that under this dashing, civil exterior beats the heart of a savage animal. See you around, Reefs. Mm-hmm. It's a roll of sticky tape. It's a... Let's try something else, shall we? Scruff boy, which floor... Take me to the top. If you could please state your command in a less melodramatic way. Bottom floor, please. Bottom floor it is. But first, let use... Facial scan fail.
some sort of computer slot thingy. Anybody there? What's up, Justin? So, whose cubicle is this? Well, it's yours, Justin. I believe you were setting up a new account on that dating site. Right, the dating site. What are you doing back there? Well, I'm working. Okay, you got me. I should be working on getting that stupid AI lift replaced with a traditional one. But I'm actually watching Airplane again. I know, I know. I remember the intervention. No Leslie Nielsen during work hours. Well, thanks for the chat. See you around, Justin. And it might be time you got a haircut and some clothes. I can't reach you from here. Gum, you need lungs of. Just, it has all my personal details on there. Yuck! It stinks. I can't reach you from here. Excuse me, could I interest you in this fine tin of sardines, sir? I never mean for these things to happen. This thing... This thing's got reach! Yeah. I really wish I could reach that thing. Okay now. Don't be scared, little buddy. Ah, oh, crap. Gymnastics, the strongest gum in You need lungs of steel to blow any bubbles with it. But when they pop, they pop. This thing's got reach. Justin Wack. IT support technician. It has all my personal details on there. Yeah. I'm going to need a key or something to open it. Howdy, player. How can I help? Let me see if I've got something to help you out. What topic would you like a hint about? Okay, hang on a moment while I snoop around a bit. Okay, here's the hint.
Okay, hang on a moment while I snoop around a bit. Okay, here's the hint. Okay, hang on a moment while I snoop around a bit. Okay, here's the hint. <laughs> 